I am just so pleased to have this opportunity. I, I look forward to seeing the portrait. I had no, no notion that I would be privileged to speak to this distinguished body. So uh, as African diplomats sometimes say, usual protocols observed, that means that all you important people have been acknowledged. <laughs> Mr. Beekman, uh, and that's your bride? <laughs> I, have, I, I have a bride, 54 years come August. Uh, congratulations, congratulations. This is wonderful. As I, I listened to the eloquent speakers and I looked at the portrait, and I couldn't help but think of that day in 1990 when uh, Madiba descended the steps of the plane at JFK. Uh, what, what an emotional moment. And the most amazing thing about him is he's always the same. He stayed with us, with my wife and me at Gracie Mansion, and uh, he was the same whether he was playing with our children, our grandchildren, or responding to Ted Koppel, who demanded of him, how come you did this? He said, Ed only wanted to help us, and he went on to the next question, because that's the way he handles things. And, and what an amazing man. And I suppose that I say to people often that one day there'll be peace in the Middle East, in Northern Ireland, because of the example of what has been done by these amazing people, whites included, whites included, who uh, had the vision, the courage, the wisdom to bring us to this day. And so Madiba is, uh, he's my hero, of course, as each of us, I suppose, says that but he truly is my hero, and, and God bless him. Thank you very much. Very short. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen and friends, this is a great moment for me as an artist, but it's not about me. It's about Nelson Mandela. It's about him. He suffered and fought for things that I believe. I made this painting as an expression of hope. Hope for Africa. Hope for the world. Thank you for being here to share this event with me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you so much. Tell you that little moment. Perhaps, Jan, may I tell them? That little moment was the following. I don't recall the exact date. Do me just now. But what he told me is the following. It was announced. And at 4 a.m. in his apartment in Chicago, he watched Nelson Mandela coming out of prison. And he was so much impressed by the serenity, integrity, and dignity of the man coming after such an ordeal back to normal life, that this picture has been in his mind for all the time. And then he started working on this painting. He took the time necessary. And once it was finished, he thought it was too delicate an object ever to be exposed either in the United States or in Europe, where many other expositions were going on. So this tableau, this portrait, the Mandela portrait, has been sitting in one of the back rooms where he has been visiting quite often, just there because it was too cherished, it was too delicate a portrait to be exposed to the world at large. And now today, we have that extreme possibility, that extreme opportunity, that this cherished object is now full-blown coming at the only place where it could be exposed, and that's the United Nations for the symbols of peace, democracy, and justice. And that was the little story I would just share on behalf, I'm the spokesman here, of Jan Beckman. <laughs>